e ala e kala i ka hikina i ka moana ka moana ho ho nu pi i ka leva ka leva nu u i ka hikina ai a kala e ala e good morning sunshine good morning kawaii good morning kawaii wow the oldest Hawaiian chants emphasize a connection between the spirits and nature. Just like golfing, just like golfing. Land and people. Oh. Fast pay makes fast friends. And they articulate why there's a cultural mandate to care for the environment and one another. What a concept. On this journey to Kauai, we're going to connect with this incredible land and learn more about Hawaii's garden island the oldest and most northern in the 50th state's chain of islands. See the two points up there? Yeah. The mountain is called Hihimano. We'll use paddles, clubs. Beauty. We'll farm and swim, and we'll indulge in some Simon. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you, Carla. And we'll meet a lot of incredible people while doing it. We landed in Lahui, the airport on the east side of the island, and our first morning was spent at Hokuala. My hosts and playing partners at the Ocean Course were Hualani Duncan and Kelly Hines. When you greet the sun in the morning, you want to greet it with all the goodness that the sun brings to you, the welcoming of the new day. You greet it from the depths of the ocean, the Moana, and as it comes out, it goes to the highest peak of the sky, and then you say, sun from the east, arise. <laughs> Tell me a little bit about your roles here and your responsibilities. My job is to sell golf. And once I sell golf, I shifted over to our director of instruction, Kelly. I grew up right here at Kalapaki Bay. My dad ended up being the superintendent of the golf course back in the 70s. My mom loved golf, and she would be on the course like all day long. I have their ashes out here on the 16th green, so every time I come out and play, it's like, come on, give me that birdie, mom, give me that birdie, dad. Yeah, it's pretty special. Why do people come here and what do they get when they do? It's something about the golf course that helps you just kind of center yourself back to nature and it's so spiritual. Oh yeah. That's beautiful. <laughs> oh, go in. Get in the hole. Come on. Beautiful Hulani. Yeah. What is it about Kauai that's different than the other Hawaiian islands? It has this deep aloha and this deep caring for all things. Everybody is going to welcome you with open arms. Come as a guest and you'll be hosted as an ohana. Ohana in Hawaiian means family. Hualani provides more insight and understanding into the Hawaiian names for the buildings used throughout the property. You know, what we were taught in our Hawaiian culture is you don't just give a name to name something. It's a, the name has to have meaning, has to have purpose, because there's always life and death in a name. And so what I did is I came here in the middle of the night and I just pulled it and asked you cool and just meditated. I looked to the, to the sky, I looked to the ocean, looked to the land and the people of the area that came, that was here before us, the ancestors, and wanted to make good for them. All of their mana, their spirit, would rise up and give us its blessing and its harmony to the area itself. Sustainability is something that is a word that gets used a lot, but not often is practiced enough. Are you actually committed to sustainability? That is the question. It's all about Malama Aina. So if you take care of it, it takes care of you. We got 60 miles of bike path, running path. You can bring your dogs and enjoy the whole area. Like we have a farm on property that people can come and roam. You know, it opens its arms to those that really live here. <laughs> 
Unbelievable. Nice, nice, nice. I think you guys are on to something here in Kauai. <laughs> <laughs> Surfing the turf is one of many options at Hokuala. A portion of the original 36 holes by Jack Nicklaus has now been converted to walking trails and an organic farm, which is where I met up with Farmer Samuel. This is the original soil that was underneath the golf course. We're totally organic here. We don't add anything that isn't an organic matter. We want it to be completely sustainable and keep the cycle of life right here in the dirt. You have leaves breaking down, you have fungus. Uh, all these things take what once was alive and through that death, you bring life into the soil, into the crop. Yeah, so we've got an orchard here, 300 trees. We have ulu, we have mangoes, we have avocados, lychee, longan, star fruit. Now, Chef uses all of these things. Holy! Yeah, you find it. Holy good one. Farmer Samuel! What in the world? Purple radish. Oh. It's bigger than you'll find in a grocery store. <laughs> That's for sure. <laughs> and what have we here? Quite the uh, cornucopia. <laughs> <laughs> this is all coming right from. Yeah, all from the property. And what are we doing here? <laughs> Let's get to the good uh, stuff. <laughs> Plants need good soil, the farmer needs good drink. <laughs> Cheers to you guys. From a fresh and fruitful liquid lunch, Farmer Samuel was off to deliver the organic ingredients for the dinner menu. Hualani was back at the restaurant, which, in appreciation for her role at the resort, was named Hualani's. Farmer Samuel would be treating us all to a meal that connects and completes the circle of our day. This looks like your farm on a plate. A little of that purple radish we grabbed earlier, cooked down till it's nice and soft. It's nice to see people enjoying the fruits of my labor. There's a lot of happy people really having a spiritual experience, really getting back to the old school, to farming, to the land. What's the line? As above, so below. <laughs> it's amazing. From below the sheets, it was back into cleats for golf at Kauai's raw and authentic municipal, where rates are affordable, the rowdy is memorable, there's no such thing as a dress code, the pace of play is fast, and the conditioning is exceptional host of three USGA amateur pub links, my playing partners would be Art Fujita and Winston Ogata. We'll play uh, $5 matches. $5 with you, $5 with you. Oh man, let me see how much I got. I see guys like you with the pleated shorts and the slick looking shoes. I don't like the looks of this at all. I'm in trouble. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Jesus! Oh! <laughs> Locals, one up. Okay, game on now, boys. I press both bets. <laughs> Locals would say, pass on the bread, because here comes the baloney. <laughs> That's a good putt. This is your home course. Grew up on it. 1941, when the wall first started out. Yeah, I was eight years old. What's your lowest round out here? Oh, way back then, 64. You shot 64? 64. Holy smokes. That's a long time ago. <laughs> Unbeknownst to me, Art is in Hawaii's Golf Hall of Fame. And Winston, well, he too is damn good. Me, I was the baloney. How much do you pay to play here? You wouldn't believe it. Tell Best me. Best deal in the country. For senior citizens, 75 and over, $27 a month. I can't get old fast enough. <laughs> 
I got a couple big fish on the line. I got a couple 80 year olds. I'm reeling them in. Oh! Uh oh. <laughs> uh oh. The worm is turning. What a three! <laughs> Here they come. We are all square, but I'm up on the press. I can't believe what I'm looking at. This is as good as it gets. Maybe one of the best holes in Hawaii. Oh, <laughs> Art. oh I am so screwed. Oh, come on! <laughs> Wave the pink flag. <laughs> <laughs> You know, he shows up with a pocket full of ball markers. I mean, I knew I was in trouble against him, <laughs> and I had no idea it was with the Hall of Famer. Yep. Did anybody want to tell me that before we teed <laughs> off? This is the guy I look up to in golf. Wow. He's been with the Public Links tournaments for how many years? You've played 80 years here at the same golf course. 80 years. This is your life. Yeah. Without this facility, golf would be expensive. Yeah. Yeah, very expensive. Proud to call this home. Oh, yeah. Very proud. Definitely. Very proud. After settling debts at Wailua, I had the chance to sit down with Derek Kawakami, the mayor of Kauai since 2018. This is very much a part of our history and our culture. It's like a monument. I cannot remember a time where there wasn't a Wailua golf course. USGA, this is a Wailua Municipal Course. My dad, he was a regular here. To this day, when I'm driving past this highway, remembering the many times where my daughter would say, look, it's grandpa. That means the world to me. I tell you, my dad, during the, the twilight of his life, if you win this thing, son, just make sure you take care of Wailua Golf Course. No way. Yeah. What's at the top of your priority list right now? What's keeping you awake at night? Well, I tell you, it's our cost of living, mm -hmm. right? It's our cost of living, being able to balance the quality of life, uh, making sure that people can afford to continue to live here. Because like I said, what makes Kauai special above everything else is the people. And if we can't keep our people here, it's just not the koi that we know and that we love. It's not something you're going to solve overnight, but every waking moment, that's what drives us. You know, my dad would say, hey, this is our Pebble Beach, man. I would tell you it's better than Pebble Beach because guys like Art and Winston and because kids can play here for a dollar or yeah. nine dollars a month. We want to make sure that this sport is accessible to everybody here on Kauai, that it's not just a sport for those that can afford to play, and it continues to thrive. Kauai's population of 73,000 has almost doubled since 1980. For more on how and why the preservation of the land and traditions are so critical to the future of the island, I played the Makai course at Princeville with Keli Alapai. As far as you can look back to the mountains, it was all pasture land here. I used to drive cattle on this here. My dad worked for the ranch. I was like six years old, seven years old. Sugar cane, pineapple, yeah. that's what we had here. My grandfather was a man that they called a kilo man. He was the one that would go up on the mountain and he would be up there guiding the fishermen down whether to go right side, left side. Send them signals. Send them signals. Goes back, I mean, generations that taught us how to hunt, how to fish, how to care for ourselves. You know what they say? You the guest, you first. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> I was afraid you were gonna say that. <laughs> oh yeah. See the two points up there? Yeah. That mountain is called Hihimano. Hihimanu in Hawaiian is a stingray. The longest waterfall there is called Namolokama. We go hunt up them. What boar? Bow or? Certain time, you can go with bow. Usually go with just dog. 
dog and knife. Dog and knife? Yeah. I thought you might go gun, but you went back. Yeah, back. dog and knife. And you a kill a boar stuff. with a knife? Yeah, sharp knife. <laughs> and around that corner is the Nepali coast? Yeah, that's where my family, my dad's parents come from, Kalalao. Oh yeah, nice shot, man. Yeah! <laughs> 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 The albatross is a bird that the Mackay Corps takes very seriously. They protect their nests and help cultivate their future. With a wingspan of 10 feet, almost all albatross landings are an adventure. Look at this, guys. The albatross are landing. There's a buddy's trip of albatross. They love the Mackay Corps. Who wouldn't, really? This is the oldest island. This is the mother pearl of the islands, the Guardian Island. We're here only temporary. We're the stewards of this place. We need to take care of the place. And it's up to us to teach the next generations to cook how it's supposed to be. Same attitude. Same attitude. We are the only community in the state of Hawaii to manage our resources. It took us 20 years to get it passed, legislature, to bring back and keep the traditional practices that we were taught and, and the values of our ancestral. Kili'i's ancestors would be proud of this community and their award-winning efforts to create innovative, nature-based solutions for challenges such as climate change and sustainability. So when you go down to talk to my cousin Presley, yeah. we were Pick for this, there's this Equator Prize Award that, that's given out by the UN. They picked 22 communities worldwide to get this award. We were one of them from here. For what you're doing to the land? For what we're doing. Being sustainable, what we're doing. Teaching, perpetuating our, 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 the, the knowledge, the culture, traditional practices on what we're doing, preserving this, you know, everything. Wow. Yeah. Oh yeah, <laughs> cold. That's why. That's why our taro is really good here. The land is the chief, and we are its servants. It's, it's a big responsibility. Yeah. You got to start somewhere, yeah. right? You know that. That's us. Got it! Yeah! <laughs> Thank you so much, brother. Thanks for your time and uh, any time. Thanks for your soul. So as you can see and hear, Kauai's commitment to staying Kauai, while also evolving and managing growth and development, is a delicate balance. But as I continue my adventure, my commitment is simple. Maintain a guest mentality and appreciate and respect the scenery. Which brings us to Poipu Bay, one of nine golf courses on the island of Kauai. From 1994 until 2006, it hosted the Grand Slam of Golf, an event in which all four of the season's major winners would get together for a match. My match would be with Zeke Alameda, a local who picked the pace and options of Kauai a long time ago. It's mandatory golf Friday. It's mandatory. It's good. Mandatory golf every day. <laughs> <laughs> if we're not back, come looking for us. <laughs> I grew up on Oahu, uh -huh. so being in the city and then moving here, it's, I've always liked the country. You know, yeah, I prefer more of a laid-back lifestyle. Yeah. You know, everybody complains that everything on Kauai closes at nine. It's it's an untrue statement, but it seems like that, yeah. and that's what I love about it. Yeah. How can you not like golfing? How could you not like fishing? How could you not like spending time at the beach? You are an outdoor guy. Kauai is the place to be. Oh, <laughs> right out of the gate, down the middle. Told you don't watch my swing, but I'll know where it's going. Look at that. Look at this backdrop. It's beautiful. This golf course, the views are just amazing. Yeah. You know? Hello. <laughs> this is like what people use for their fake backdrops and Zoom calls. Oh! Saddle. Each island has its own culture. 
Each island has its own pace or its own flow or its own vibe. If you want a real authentic, hardcore Hawaiian experience, it's here. It's Kauai, it's Molokai, and it's Lanai. Because um, that is where, to me, the culture of Hawaii is. If life's a five lane highway, Kauai is the slow lane. Kauai is the one lane. <laughs> Kauai is the country road. <laughs> so we're at 14. Yes. 15, 16, 17, 18. So five holes. Yes. Let me take a look at this scorecard. Hold on one second. I'll bring it back. I think I'm getting hustled. I think that's happening. Got a little side action. We'll do $10 closeout with $5 press if you're angry. Press when you're upset. Press when you're upset. That's our match. <laughs> I am so screwed. Beauty. What do we need to know about Poipu, this golf course specifically? No homes around the golf course. You know, it's part of the land, it's part of the community. You know, you go to a lot of golf courses everywhere. In mainland here, they all have homes everywhere. Where this, you get the natural beauty of the land. Yeah. Oh! <laughs> Look at that mid-round negotiation then. <laughs> Let him in. Let him in. Oh, oh, oh. Take it away. Nice putt. Thank you. Janela, one up. Holy shit. Oh yeah, this coastline is incredible. To me, this is the best tee box on the golf course. Because you get to look down to the east and west coastline. I mean, how many times do people say wow when they come to Kauai? A lot. <laughs> now we're going downwind, downwind with the warmth. We got the heart of a local and I'm one up. For now. <laughs> Beauty. Nice little baby cut right up the gut. This is whale watching. This is great whale watching, South Shore. Look at this. Yep. Whee! <laughs> Tracking. Oh! Bite, oh! bite, 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 bite. That was the short-lived comfort zone. <laughs> <laughs> Beauty. That's gorgeous. If I say Poi Poo Bay to you, what do you say? To me, it's a sense of community. I mean, the golf community that's out here, you can generally get a game wherever. It left just a little. Uh-oh. Okay, we're dancing. What a shot. Thank you. We talked a little bit about the balance that the mayor talked about, that I think everybody is sort of hyper aware of between growth and preservation. For me it is. I mean, I prefer everything to kind of stay where it's at. As long as the people that grow into the community grow with the community. It's not just coming here and trying to make it their own. And you're on an island. Of yes. Of course you got to have that mentality. You have to. It can't be all about me, me, me. It's got to be about the group and the community. We, we, we. Yeah. You know what me is right now? One up. <laughs> <laughs> and we are about to be even. <laughs> oh, middle green. It's also going left. Perfect. Thank you. It's a heiau, hey which is an old um, Hawaiian temple. It's like the Brady Bunch. Yes, you know don't take a rock home. Don't take a rock. Don't home. take that lava rock home. Beauty. That's perfection right there. We're up there neck and neck. One time. One time. Come on. Come on. Oh, that's good. That's good too. Thank you very much, sir. Respect the locals. <laughs> hey man, that was Thank awesome. Thank you very Thank much. You so much. Yeah, yeah, that was amazing. Beautiful. Thank you. Appreciate your. Uh, info and hospitality. Appreciate you guys coming out. The match with Zeke ended all square. But you could say I won the lottery when I was referred to Hamura for some Simon. This family recipe and Kauaian delicacy has been passed down now for generations and it was an honor to get time with Lori Tanagawa the current owner and operator of this truly 
authentic eatery. So what is the secret? There is no secret. It's a lot of hard work, I said. How did it all get started? What, what, how how um, did this happen? My grandmother started the business. What do you remember as a kid? Making Simon and coming here to work. This is your life? Pretty much. We do 1,600 pounds a week of Simon. Has anything changed? Is this the same recipe? It's the same. We've always been here. You hear about, oh, this is good food. You go in, and you look back there, and you see the ladies' noodles, pop, pop, you know, that thing. And you're going, wow. And you see people lined up. You know something special is in here. A lot of people come here daily, daily, to eat Simon. I mean, we can see them today, tomorrow, the next day, and the next day, and the next day. A friend of mine eats here regularly. He says he comes on a regular basis. He doesn't even have to order. He gets looks up, yeah, gets a nod. Yeah, all they do is they, the workers look at who's sitting here, and they already know what they want. So there's no verbal communication. Okay, we know who that is. Just stick the bowl out and we make them. <laughs> Oh my God. Oh my God. Jesus. Let me get that for you, okay? What is happening right now? Thank you so much. Thank you, Carla. Thank you, thank you very much. Beautiful. Thank you. Oh, thank you. She's been here 44 years. You've been here since you were a little girl. That's part of the secret, right? Consistency, people committed to the quality. I can give somebody one big bowl of Simon or a big piece of pie, but what does it taste like? I come in the morning and I make sure the soup is good. Taste it. I taste it. And when I'm satisfied, you know, because I'll turn the stove to low, that means it's ready to use. What happens if you turn it up. Then it needs improvement. <laughs> Eventually, my nephews, my daughters, they are ready, preset for it. Yeah, they're ready. I shouldn't say they're ready, but they're gonna have to be ready. We're good at it, because I think about my grandmother and what she stood for, and so that's what drives me. The only thing driving us after a bowl of Simon and a massive slice of homemade lilikoi pie was the need for a sleep. But the next day we were back at it and back to golf at Pua King, where we'd meet up with Mary B. Porter King, another Hawaiian Golf Hall of Famer who's had an incredible influence on the growth and development of junior golf. We had two juniors with us as we walked and talked about her past and the game's future. Our best ball against your best ball, okay? Playing for $1,000 a guy, okay? Will that work? <laughs> no. And do you guys know Mary B? No. No. You don't know what she's done for junior golf in Hawaii? She started it. She's the reason why you guys can be doing what you're doing in large part because of Mary B. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> I just want there you, you guys to have the same opportunities I had. What, how old are you? 12. 13. 12 and 13. Yeah. How long have you been playing? A year. Good for you. A year and a half. Okay. All right, guys. Good luck out there today. Uh-oh. Got our work cut out here. I know. That's a really good swing. That works all day. When did you find Kauai, Mary B? I... As you know, played the tour for yeah. many years, and I had to work to find my way back out to play, and I did. But I couldn't afford to bring my regular caddy. Uh -huh. And our first two events were in Hawaii. I had to sign up for a local caddy, which is never fun. Yeah. So there was one guy left in the yard who was signed up for me. My now husband. Then you married him. Charlie King, uh, two and a half years we were made, married. Oh. <laughs> what an amazing story. It's a great story. So that's how I ended up here. That's 32 <laughs> years ago. 
It's a small town. There's a sense of family here. Yeah. Uh, people are connected. People care for each other. You have several options. You want to know what they are? You can replay from back there. You can go two club lengths from where it ended and last crossed. You're legendary for your knowledge of the rules. I've, I've already heard. Is that one of the things that you get focused on is trying to help the kids understand the rules and why, that, why it matters? Why it matters, yeah. very much so. It's just so important. Sounded good. Okay, I can't see that far. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. Uh oh, can we use his ball instead? Holy moly! Remember how you thought I hit a big drive? Yeah. Look this where you is are. you. That's me? Yes. Yeah. Oh. Beautiful. Mary B, what is the status of junior golf, uh, specifically in Kauai right now, and then also, you know, broad based Hawaii in general? I think we're at a turning point. I think one of the things the pandemic here. It's done for us. It's created a lot of interest in yeah. golf. Yeah. Look at you. We signed a contract with the PGA Tour with the first tee. We've gotten some kids going. Great. I love to watch kids because they play. They play without fear. Oh, oh, beautiful swing. Oh, great swing. Great shot. It's actually one of the things that I try to do when I'm, if I'm getting ready, is I try to play like I'm a kid. Ooh, good putt. Oh. Good try. Good putt. Get there. Oh, what a partner. What a partner. <laughs> <laughs> My passion is obviously junior golf. I'm excited for young people to have the opportunity to do something that, that they love. It's a game definitely for a lifetime. It's the people you meet along the way, and it's the greatest gift I can give to anyone. What an up and down! Wow. <laughs> From the, wow, wow, Mary B, okay. Wow. That's that pay it forward mentality is why I think the game is where it is, you know. Well, I think game of golf gives more back than any other sport, I believe. Like I said, if I can impact anyone with the game um, and get them to play it and love it, I'm happy. Oh, Four. this guy is good. Good job, guys. Good job. Good job. Pleasure, what pleasure. What color are they? There you go. Mary B. Thanks. I Thank you it. so Thank much. You. Appreciate it. That was amazing. Thank you. Thank you so much for your time and all that you've done for golf. Uh, Beautiful. Absolutely my pleasure. In 1986, outrigger canoe paddling became Hawaii's official team sport. And on this day, the perfect off-course option for some exercise and insight into more of Kauai's history. Did you paddle before yes, you I have. Okay, good. Here's your paddle. <laughs> Put the blade in the water. Yeah, there you go. Just like golfing. Just like golfing. Pull it back. Beautiful. Look at that. Hey! This is a good core workout, huh? It's going to help your upper body. Hey. Okay, this is a Manihuni fish pond. This is a historical place right here. Yeah? 600 year old fish camp? Yes. Go over there, park over there. What the hell is going on around here? This pond in the 1950s. My uncle used to be a caretaker before. Wow. Yeah. Okay, this is the gate right here. They block this gate off over here. The fish would come all in here, and they stay with the net. They scoop the fish out with the net, like this. Yeah, take them to the market or give the give the people, yeah, to eat. This is what the Hawaiian people used to depend on, yeah. Yeah, this uh, this fish, yeah. You know, not everybody see these, yeah. Amazing. Yeah. Amazing. Everything around here, there's a theme. Stuff comes full circle. Life, food, sustenance, our trip. And that's a wrap. Another immersive journey from sunrises to sunsets, roosters and sacred rocks, coastlines 
and conservation, high-ranking officials, Hall of Famers and high fives, hunters, farmers, generational recipes and Lilikoi pie, sails and waves. In Kauai, it's all about your attitude. Yeah, man! Oh. I'm just gonna remove this husk here. Oh, there we are. Enter this island as a guest. Treat the people and the land with respect. Give it to the charity of your choice. <laughs> You've impacted me, maybe. <laughs> More poems. <laughs> Relax. Ride the whitewater all the way to the pristine beach, and you'll come out feeling like a member of the Ohana.